This three-day event has been designed to meet the needs of those coming into the rail industry. The rail industry worldwide is growing rapidly. There are people moving up in the rail industry within companies, but also a lot of people from other sectors as the rail industry is looking to new technologies, new marketing techniques, etc. The course looks at economics of railways, the technology, um, the history of rail, but mostly at the economics, the technology. Then we move on to looking at finance and project appraisal, where we might invest in new railways. Uh, it's interesting for me because I am in railways business since only one, one year, so quite young for this uh, sector. And uh, I wish to learn more about the economical aspect of this market, this segment. My name is Ralph Tiffin and my background is I'm a mechanical engineer who actually started out in the energy sector but always had an interest and involvement in the railway industry. Um, I realised I knew nothing about money and I uh, should do something. An MBA might, might have been a good idea but I actually um, became a chartered accountant and uh, a statutory auditor moving away from engineering but always with an interest and with clients in the sector. Um, in the rail sector, I got involved in investment appraisal, project appraisal for rail projects, and this work continues to this day. The course has attracted really interesting people involved in different aspects of the rail industry. We've had people who have been in the rail industry for years, but just would like an update and to see if there's anything new happening in technology. The financing side of railways and economics have changed. The, the economic and financial side of railways certainly has changed. And old hands on the rail, we really need to know what is going on. Most of all, we attract people who are moving into the rail industry from other sectors, whether it be technical or finance or marketing. And um, that is really the core of focus of the course. In three days, you should have a thorough understanding of the economics of rail today, of how rail is financed today and possibly where rail may be going today. But rail is in a state of growth, but also in a state of flux.